Many of the communities that are impacted by HIV have been suffering from high rates of mental illness, substance use, and have experienced a lot of um, historical trauma. And, and now, you know, are impacted by HIV. And that is where COMPASS comes in. The University of Houston Graduate College of Social Work Compass Coordinating Center will be working with community-based organizations to identify what's needed for them to function in their full capacity. We have a number of patients that are, are in denial around their infection. They may really have had a traumatic event that surrounded their infection, whether that was how they became infected or just the very moment and impact of finding that out and all of the internal thoughts that that may trigger. We know from research that individuals and communities living with HIV are more likely to have a mental illness, such as depression, PTSD, anxiety. When I got laid off, I went into the depression. That's when I felt the effects of having HIV on a social level. All hell broke loose on the inside. And I just made bad decisions. I made bad choices. I wasn't trying to commit suicide but I wasn't trying to live. I was doing whatever I could to get as close to death without it hurting. No pain, didn't want no pain. So how do you provide mental health treatment to individuals who, who've lived, you know, the historical trauma of living in the South? And that's really, the second part of our center is around trauma-informed care. We as physicians must understand the impact of trauma, again, emotional and physical trauma, um, in someone's lives and how that impacts right their interaction with the medical community, how it impacts their perception of their self-worth, their perception of themselves after having an HIV diagnosis. Wellness is the third part of our center, and by wellness we mean holistic care of yourself. Oftentimes when communities are impacted by HIV, they are often thinking about themselves as, as the diseased and then it also impacts your likelihood to engage in substance misuse. There's so many people that are hurting and they look for the instant ratification instead of looking for the long-term solution of finding out what is the, the problem. So we, we medicate our, ourselves through whatever avenues, be it drugs, sex, or whatever. And right now, that avenue is really hitting our um, community hard. I think the first thing we have to do is give people permission to heal. And I can remember when I told my mom the first time that I was in therapy, she was like, why, you're not crazy. And I looked at her because I was like, lady, where have you been? Have you not watched my life spiral out of control? You know, but then somebody gave me permission to take care of me, and I was able to do that. It is just really being true to yourself and being true to the pain that you're dealing with. We can say it's about me being, you know, gay and black in the South. Okay, but well, ultimately it's about the pain. Until we're able to deal with that, we're going to always have the issue of hiding our pain. The main thing that will help is education and understanding that this is not the end.